Hello, my name is Mike with WideLoadShipping.com. This is part one in a series of tutorials about the pilot car directory. Um, if you listen to any of the or watch any of the tutorials at all, this is the most important one. It'll show you uh, the tricks and uh, to using the directory and the most important things about it. Uh, one, I'd like to point out that these are our sponsors over here, and so if you ever see anything over here that interests you, please feel free to click on it, as that revenue helps pay for the website. Um, with that said, let's get started. Um, one of the reasons it's most important to have a listing in our pilot card directory is the carrier's and the customers are already here doing business with each other and so it's not like they're gonna type in to go to some other website to find a pilot car when they know the directory's right here it's been here for almost 10 years and it's only a click away so they're you know more than likely uh, gonna come here to find pilot cars and do their business here so anyway with that said um, We'll click on the state here, the lovely state of Kansas, to take a look at the listing. Um, the way the listings are displayed are not necessarily alphabetically. Uh, they're displayed in the order of, and I'll show you here in a second, we'll try another state, of who updated their listing the most recently. Uh, the reason why we did that is uh, Google just updated their search engine with something that's called the Panda Updates, and we'll talk about that later. But it's based on the freshest and the newest content. So uh, we followed that protocol, and if a company is uh, needing a business that week, uh, they're going to come and update the content for their listing on the website. Also, it's another reason to um, add more text with keywords in it um, for your listing, which will make it perform better in the search engines as well as on the website. So it's real important that you um, frequently come here and update your listing because it'll move it up the list. Uh, another thing I want to show you, which is a trick that I talked about, is how to get your phone number here or here without having to um, click on more information, which makes it easier for the customer to go down the list. Looks like Stan could uh, take a little tip from Trex there. Um, because if not, you've got to click here and then go down here to get the phone number. So... Um, and then look, let me show you really quick. Let's click on the Show Me State of Missouri. And you can see here, oh, we got all M's. Well, it's listed in the order of um, when it was last edited. You can see the basic listings here on the bottom as well as the premium listings on the top. So the customer, they're looking for phone numbers. Even if Eminem Pilot Car says, oh, yeah, well, we might have somebody available. Let me call you back right they're still going to call down the list so that's how that works um, let's go ahead and go to the forgot password function um, <clears throat> if you forgot your username or your password at least try to remember it um, and enter it if it's not correct the forgot password function will come up and you can enter your email address and it'll uh, email that to you so that's how that works let's go ahead and get logged in here and continue to my account if you already have a listing in the directory make sure you go through this portal to manage it otherwise you'll be adding a new one and for those of you that are adding a new one go ahead and go here and then you'll click um, the state that you want to add yourself into say I was an example on this one and add it and you'll see it's here um, this is the field that after your company name you can enter the phone number and oh, pardon me it'll display on that initial page uh, in bold you could also do it after your listing caption as well uh, description of services this is real important to add as much information as you can in this field containing keywords 
uh, about uh, your company and also about the industry, and we'll talk more about that later. Um, I want to, which brings me to this field, I want to show you, you have to enter, you don't have to enter the www, but you have to enter the http colon slash slash in this field before you enter your website. Uh, you can't enter your email address or any of that kind of stuff, but you have to add this or it will screw your listing up. So that's really important. Um, another thing is for those of you that do not want your address to show up on the map for the directory, uh, do not enter it into this field. Uh, for those of you that work out of your house or whatever, you may not want that displayed, so just go ahead and leave this blank. So those are the most important things about using the directory. The directory absolutely does work and we want to make sure that you guys are getting the most bang for your buck. Um, whether you're spending $3 a month or $5 a month on your listing, uh, it's our jobs to make sure uh, you know everything so you can use it the best to the best of your advantage. So with that said, that concludes um, the first tutorial. We'll be doing more soon, and we thank you for using our services. Have a great day. Bye.